Glory be to Triune God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Gospel for the seventh Sunday after the Feast of the Holy Cross has been taken from St. Matthew chapter 5, verse 21 to 26. You have heard that it was said by them of old times, Thou shalt not kill, and whoever shall kill shall be in danger of judgment. St. Matthew chapter 5, verse 21. In this portion, Christ teaches us the importance of maintaining a peaceful relationship. He says, He is watching and will judge those who live in this world. He, we understand that there is no doubt among the hearers of Jesus that murder is evil. But Jesus introduced this new concept that anger can also be evil. He says, if you insult your brother or sister, you will be subject to judgment of holy court, meaning you will be guilty. Anger should not be overlooked as innocence. It is evil. Our anger opens the door and allows sin to come into our hearts, which leads us to insulting, denigrating, name-calling, and at times, even physical harm. In verse 23 and 24, Jesus tells us that anger towards anyone can be and must be reconciled. He believes in this reconciliation so highly that he even asks us to pause our worship if needed and go to the other person to make things right. We are completely unrighteous without Christ. We must seek forgiveness from him. A part of God's vision for us is to love the church and its people and not to hold anger or grudge against anyone. In verse 25 and 26, Jesus mentions that it is always better to work things out without going before a judge, be it human or the holy judge God. He makes sure that we understand how severe the punishment will be if we found guilty. He says, you will never get out of there until you have paid the last penny. Ultimately, the issue of anger comes down to our relationship with God. Remember, Jesus classifies anger as sin deserving of judgment. We should deal with it, with our anger, before God deals with our anger. We must go to God through Christ and repent. He can set us free from any sin and we must follow God faithfully. May God bless us all. Amen.